So um, yeah, this is a tool assisted speed run on Super Highlight. Um, you know, so Mike got to run this at, at uh, AGDQ. This is going to be a task. Um, it's going to be a little faster than the um, <laughs> yeah, slightly <laughs> than faster. Run. And um, so I actually, you know, I, I've been uh, experimenting with this. I saw him run this at um, RPG Limit Break last year, and then I decided, hey, I'll, I'll get into tasking this. <laughs> and it, it's actually a pretty interesting game to task. So um, yeah. If we're ready, I'll, I'll hit this and uh, and we'll get started. Uh, yeah, I think just one thing I want to say before the run is that uh, the monk class is picked because it is by far um, the best class for a speed run. Now, I'd argue even in general, um, it has low health growth, but all of its other stats are really good. And it is also one of two classes that um, gets an experience bonus before level uh, five, which is exploited a lot in this tool assisted speedrun. Yes. And in fact, I'll be exploiting it even more than the uh the normal run. Yes. Uh, All right. I think I I think I know at least part of what you're <laughs> going to do with it, but I'm I still want to witness it for myself, so. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a run that has to be witnessed, and it's not one that we've shown before. This is a new task. So, um, I, I, and I'm really honored to have the world record speedrunner here um, at the task. This, and so this is sort of a um, historic event here. Yeah, um, I, I'm wondering if there's anything I can even use from this tool-assisted speedrun. Because even though, yes, you know, tool-assisted speedruns, you know, it, it does show it's theoretically possible. Uh, the likelihood of this actually happening in a run is somewhere around one in a million or less and uh and, and and you know even though it's technically not cheated it does feel like cheatery at times because it's totally impossible for a human to do all this <laughs> that's right and we are running so this is running on bizhawk um the, the emulator and um so it's not uh, you know actually on console i can't really say this would actually work on a genesis but the bizhawk emulator it's pretty good um and we've we've actually had some things sync so um we believe the emulation is pretty good all right, without further ado, we're going to hit it. Sounds good. That's a three, two, one, go. Okay, so as I said, he's choosing the monk. I assume that's around uh, 14 health because that's the most health you can start off with. Yep. Uh, so this is a trick that you do um, to gain experience. You just throw coins in the pond. You get 30 experience per throw, and it's much better than anything you can do early game. And you do need at least uh, a couple of levels to be able to fight uh, Hell Smoke uh, at the top of the Tower of Habel, which is uh, why he, why even the tool-assisted speedrun is doing this. That's right. Um, and so unlike uh, all of your runs, I, only, I stopped at level 3 instead of level yeah. 4, and we're going to go on with that. I assume that's just the bare minimum you need to actually, like, damage uh, Hellsmoke. That's right, yeah. Like, I couldn't damage Hellsmoke or really hardly anything at level at level 2. And he's buying uh, the dagger because that's the best weapon uh, you can buy at um, starting off. You do get some starting money because if you didn't, you would actually just starve to death in this game. <laughs> And um, unlike the speedrun, he's actually hitting enemies along the way because if I remember correctly from what the X-Men told me, there is no grinding in this run. And so he's basically just manipulating all the enemies so that he can just kill them all along the way, um, which is really convenient. And being a good hero, um, he is hitting even the, the quote unquote good enemies, which uh -oh. means he is going to have uh a morality of zero. <laughs> it, it seems we don't have game audio, so we might we might restart this. As... Oh, OK. Um, but anyway, um, he is collecting the talisman because it is not too far out of the way and it is worth a lot of money and is the and basically solves any no, potential uh, money <laughs> problems you could ha you could have during the run. Uh, so these vampires, um, the the big the tall green things are actually really hard to kill um in a normal run until you get the stone of warrior but since you know the task can you know attack every other frame uh it's not really an issue for the tool assisted speed run also those dark eyes can hit really hard but um what the task is doing it's either manipulating the enemy so they're half a tile off or uh it's just uh manipulating the rng so it's dodging enough hits so that 
um, they're not, it's not getting hit at all. Um, normally a speed run, you bring a bunch of healing items, but you know, being a tool assisted speed run, you are just uh, manipulating all of that. So you really don't need the healing other than the requisite uh, food items. And um, yeah, so this is just a manipulated uh, hell smoke fight. <laughs> um, normally on the speed run, you'd want to put this the speed on slowest. So you actually have a good chance of getting a lot of hits on hell smoke, but the task can just manipulate a good pattern for hell smoke and can, you know, fire, you know, 30 times a second. So that's not really an issue. Uh, so the task gets, I think gets the stone of warrior. I couldn't really see that in the menu, but you want that's that right, even yeah. in the tool assisted speed run, because even though the auto fire doesn't really matter that much, um, it does give, if I remember correctly, uh, 15, uh, uh -oh. point. Oh no. We're, we're crashing. That does we're, not look like a good a good no. a good pop up. We're only a few minutes in. I think we're gonna have to restart this. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, when you were first looking into this game, you Wait. found out that. Oh. So when you were first looking into this game, uh, you found out that the. If I remember correctly, the RNG just changes every frame in this game. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's like constantly so, getting banged. Yeah. So while, um, you know, a tool assisted speed run, you know, if the luck is not good, you just wait a frame or two uh, or a little more in a, in, an, in like an in a re, in an RTA speed run. There is no chance uh, that would work. <laughs> Okay, we're going to restart? Okay. Yeah. Okay, restarting. All right, now we have sound. And we get a awesome. second chance to explain all this good stuff. Yeah. Um, so every time you, you throw some coins in the pond here, you get 30 experience. Um, getting your, your extra level up. We're going to... So the ra the stats, the starting stats and the level up stats are all like really, really random, which is great yes. for a task. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and especially what's important is your starting stats determine how much stats you get at level up. So those starting stats were like super important. I got like the maximum stats on like every stat. Um, and yeah, we're uh, also going to get just about every the max stats on level up for most of our stats. There's a few ones we don't really care about. Yeah, not all of the stats um, help for a speed run, but stuff like even something like agility, which is just determines your dodge chance, which is when you hear the ding, ding, tings, uh, it can be helpful, you know, just for, uh, you know, making it easier to survive enemies walking past you. Sure, you can manipulate um, that kind of behavior, but it's just nicer if you can just dodge it instead and so as i said before um the enemies are manipulated so they're just along the way so that axeman uh can kill them and that includes both the good and the bad enemies because this game actually has a morality system <laughs> um it doesn't really factor that much into effective gameplay because normally in a casual playthrough and in the speed runs um you are just going to end up killing the good enemies because you have no i no way of telling them apart um, realistically <laughs> and so you will have a very low morality score and that is a talisman um it's actually not being used in the run it it is actually going to be sold for money it's not far out of the way and it and not only does it let you afford everything you need for the first shopping trip it basically makes it so that money is not an issue throughout the entire run so this is actually, I, I actually have a few mistakes, a few things I need to f clean up in here, and I think I can actually do a few seconds better um, over this run. One of the mistakes, I think, was beating these vampire guys. I don't think they were worth it. Um, they take too many hits. The the eyes are that worth makes more. sense. Yeah. Yeah, the eyes are worth more, and uh, they're not. It, uh, they don't have as much health. Yeah. They are they are very dangerous, but that's not as much of an issue for the tool assisted speedrun. Although there are points where I'm just tanking the damage. Um, and letting it go down because I can, uh, at least to a certain extent, you know, I don't have to worry about, uh, <laughs> I don't have to worry about dying. So if I can, you know, take, uh, I can use all my HP that I've got there and, uh, and go down. So Hell Smoke here, um, you can actually beat him. You can get more hits in if you go to a lower speed. 
and you can do it in sort of like fewer passes, but keeping it at fastest actually turned out to be a little bit faster because um, you don't have to um, switch between, you don't have to have an like extra pause to switch your speed around. Yeah. I mean, it's necessary for a speed run to switch to a lower speed, but you know, being a tool assisted speed run, it's just going to get, you know, the, the 30 hits per second and uh, manipulate a good pattern for hell smoke. So that is not an issue. So we had to buy um, rations of food. We had to buy herbs to restore our MP, which we don't have magic yet. We'll soon. Yeah. Um, now, so I'm a little curious why you're going to the water palace. Uh, so the early now. part of the routing, you're going to have to go back someplace. There's somewhere like there's a few different yeah, ways you can do this the is true. part. And this is different from how you do it in all of your and, you know, uh, in the RTA runs. Um, well, that that did, is true. We went in here. We got the ID card because you, in order to open that bridge to get out of the palace and get back in again, you have to have that ID card. And this is something you don't do in the in the RTA run. Um, I think you just go in that water palace once. But there, we have to give the king of the water palace something that we don't have yet. Yeah. On the other hand, though, you climb the tower multiple times, and we're not going to have to go back to that tower or the cloud city ever again. I got everything we need. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so you're not even getting the lightsaber. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We are if gonna there was the a lightsaber. Yeah. So the the lightsaber is used in the RTA run because it gives you some, I, if I remember correctly, eighty attack points. Yeah. It's so your attacks goes way up and is pretty much an absolute necessity for the RTA speedrun, but yeah. not so much for the tool-assisted speedrun. No. As you can see, he's just zooming through everything. I did get it in a test run, and then I decided I, I don't really need it. Um, so yeah. the next, so there's actually not that many bosses, and the first few bosses no. you don't need the lightsaber for, and by the time this is correct. we get to the next big boss, we'll have another weapon that's good enough. Um, and then in the final boss, you can't even use the lightsaber on him. You need to use a certain weapon, um, which we'll have for the, so the last two bosses. We'll have that flaming sword. Um, so now the dark. Now, in the emulator, I can just turn off the background and see everything in the dark. Right. So when I'm making this task, I can see the enemies. I can see everything. So I'm manipulating these zombies. These zombies, you can see they're worth 165 experience. That compares to 75 yeah. for those eyes and 67 for the zombies. So we're getting yeah. a lot of experience. Um, and this is still the 50% bonus. So you get a 50%. Yeah. Um, because you're level three right we're now? Level, we're still level three. Yeah. And, and so, like... Do you get an experience bonus from killing the bosses oh, at yeah. such a low level too? Oh yeah. Okay, but but that but that experience looks the same. You know, three thousand two hundred twenty. Isn't it usually just that same value? I, I thought hmm. higher. I'm not sure if that. Yeah, the dragon. I, I'm pretty sure the dragon was a was a bonus. I. But uh, yeah, I can check. Yeah, but, I don't know. We we could we could check. Yeah yeah. But. Um. So that gave us just about all the experience we need to get to level seven. Um, yeah. One of the things I was trying to do is figure out if I can only get level, um, maybe if I can do level six. So um, it turned out level seven was probably the best to do here. And that means you don't have to do any more grinding, like any more killing of any enemies for a long time. Um, earlier Not we getting got... the joke items. What is this uh, one? <laughs> I'll have to, yeah. Yeah. That, so that's the next for those of you has. who don't know, um, this game has a bunch of joke items. And uh, and the game, and when you use them, the game will go, uh, it's a joke in this very obnoxious fla flashing text. <laughs> and uh, and uh, they're just in there to troll you. That's it. So now we're oh, on level your life is, six, I think. Yeah, we your can... health is very high for level six. Yes, we should have gone to level seven. But... You, ha you, have, you, have perf you have perfect health gains. So yes. basically, to put in perspective, uh, the monk has really bad health. Um, the max you can start off with is 14, which I'm pretty sure that's what you start off with. And then you can gain anywhere from two to 12 health uh, per level. You know, being the tool assisted speed run, um, you've just manipulated so that you're getting the perfect health gain every level. I have gotten like perfect health gains on my first three level ups like once out of, you know, probably a hundred or so attempts. And that was probably very lucky. So yeah, that's not something you can really expect. Okay, and that was the tech palace. So yep. How much time do you normally spend in that in an RTA run? Uh, so it's a it's a big grinding point because it's really good experience there. 
and um, you're generally around level seven or eight there. So I would say at least five minutes just for the grinding alone. Um, if you're doing like a marathon safe RTA run, then you're spending like even more time there, probably like seven, eight minutes. So you can just grind tons of experience because after the tech palace, you don't really need to grind that much in the run. Now, you might ask why we need um, so much life in a task where we can yeah. just avoid damage all the time. Um, and that's yes. because at the final boss, there's like a DPS check that you can't uh, avoid. Yeah. yeah, with even a task. So, so, yeah. So the two most important stats in the run are your health and your attack. And it doesn't matter how much armor you have. It ignores armor. So, uh, so, you, you, so like for a speed run, you actually end up resetting a lot if you have really low uh, health values on your level ups, um, because you just need enough health to survive the final boss. So we just went through space. You normally don't know um, where to go in space. You you have to get yeah. the space compass. But I figured out how to um, how space worked basically. Um, yeah. It, turns it was out, very helpful for the RTA, yeah. too. Space is actually a 32 by 32 grid, and the spaceship is always in the same place. What's random is where you end up in space yeah. when you fall in that crack. Yeah, so the spaceship is always in the bottom right corner. Um, you're, you are in, like, uh, I want to say it's a, is it a tw 12 by? I think it's I only six remember. by six. So it's yeah, like six, six by six, six grid. Six. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but, and then your location in that grid is random. That's right. Yeah. So like there's a so like if you're doing RT run, you can just take whatever path whatever path you uh need to like consistently hit the spaceship every time. Although which tile you hit it is random. Yeah. And now you are in the city of illusion because you got uh <laughs> the, in the, the mirror dimension. necessary. Yeah, or in the talisman necessary, yes. In the first dimension. And now you are in the fantasy inn. Um yeah. So and so inns, you, yeah, um, in order you, to move back here, so in order to warp back yes. to a town. So the only, so the move spell is the most important spell in the game because it lets you teleport to towns. But in order to activate a checkpoint, um, you have to sleep in that town. The exception being the first town, the city of the woods, where you yeah. start the game. And no, there's another class. Of, so there's another requirement. You have to sleep in that town after getting the move spell. If you do it before getting the move spell, yes. it's no good. Um, so that's yeah. why we couldn't stay at the inn at the uh, Cloud Town early on and then warp back there later. Yeah. So yeah, this is another like a uh, very dark dungeon. Um, We're actually are gonna. Wow, you just manipulated speed. all away all the enemies. So yeah, yep. the, um, it's on the slowest speed because what the Axeman did is that uh, it's the best like your actions to enemy actions ratio if you put it on slow speed, and so and and that's what lets him uh, one shot the boss. Normally the boss can heal itself. Um, after a certain amount after it you pass a certain health threshold but you can skip that by just um hit, hitting the boss every single chance you get yeah. and the tap and i think you said you had to get critical hits which i didn't yes. even know was a thing in so this game there's a rolling window like every every so many checks um every so many frames the boss like checks and if his hp is under a certain level he heals it all but if you can kill him between so if you enter that threshold and take his health all the way down within that kind of window, you can actually kill him before you get this that heal. Um, but then there's also if you he also has like an MP level. So if you do it seven times and he heals seven times and he can't heal again, so you can actually kind of get this pity kill on him. Um, yeah, yeah. So but, that is a secret passage that uh, someone on Twitch pointed out to me, like after I did my run. I did not know that secret passage existed, and it saves a lot of time uh, nice, moving yeah. through these tiles. And so basically, the spaceship um, in a casual playthrough, if you don't play with a guide, it's going to be the place that really stumps you. Um, I was able to play through this game without a guide until I got here because it's really obtuse because there's the just so many trigger checks way. going on. Yeah. Uh, so you have to. Um, first talk to that fairy and then and then activate that switch that uh, the axe man just triggered and, and then and normally these enemies and then you have to your way. 
and and then you have to talk to the fair, fairy again so that you, because now that you've um freed the fairy from the prison and now that allows you to see the final boss you can go to the final boss room without um having the fairy but I can't remember if nothing triggers or Kaizak just laughs at you yeah, because yeah. you can't nothing see Nothing happens, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, nothing happens at all. It's If you go there with the fairy, he says, you you can, you found me, but can you see me? And the fairy says, I'll be your eyes. Kind of implies he's invisible, yeah. but no, he's actually not there at all. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to get the Which fairy. Which is funny because the, the fairy is prominently featured on the box art. Oh, wow. That is So there's a trick. Dodged. There's a yeah. rapid fire mode that you can activate on your on your flaming sword. Um, the trick is to miss a shot, and then you can activate this rapid fire where you have two shots at a huh. time. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty hard to do um, because you have to you have to stand still and keep firing. Like if you stop, it's kind of like if you oh, stop by, rapid firing. By the way, that was time like oh. uh, <laughs> you know like 20 or 30 seconds ago. The the, the, mo the, the moment it said like I have a quiet. I think the moment after he presses the button, after I have acquired, that's the last input. That's you right. Need, yeah. So. <laughs> By task timing, so yeah. you know, for tasks, we end the timing at um, at last input. Yeah. So yeah. So it would be right after um, you press the button for I have acquired, so you can um, advance the game. So yeah. Um, as I said before, uh, this is really impossible to do RTA. Um, not only is the movement would the movement be incredibly difficult to do because on fastest uh, you move. Um, every step you take is two frames so it's really hard to control and fastest <laughs> it's even though delayed. you do want to be it's, it's yeah. also delayed by like a frame or two it's, it's so it's kind yeah, of like yeah. really annoying actually yeah uh <laughs> so, so like even though you do want to be fastest a lot you can't be on fastest all the time because a yes you move the fastest on fastest but the enemies also murder you fastest on fastest it's not just the game speed but it's also like gives the enemies a more favorable like their actions to your actions ratio so they would actually be able to ki uh, kill you much faster before you could like kill them or react really um, the other thing is that there is so much luck, luck manipulation going on this run that you could never feasibly get <laughs> the RNG required yeah. uh, to do this run like the current record ends the run at level 12 it can probably go down to level 11 feasibly but any lower than that, then you pretty much have to manipulate it like this tool assist speedrun does, because you end the game at level eight, which is just impossible <laughs> for a speedrun. Like it's just not. This ending is awesome, by the way. Yeah, I... it's it's an amazing ending uh, because it just completely just throws you for a loop and and just comes out of nowhere. And 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 what and what the game is basically implying here, because you know Kaizak created everything, and then you're his antithesis, and you destroy, and you destroy Kaizak. It's based. It's kind of implying that like Kaizak is God, and you, you're the devil, or something. Like that. <laughs> I showed this to my son, the Hatchet Boy, back here, and <laughs> I feel like such a bad dad. <laughs> he was like, "This makes no sense." <laughs> I mean, that's that is correct. It does make no sense. And then in a complete Deus Ex Machina. You restore the world, um, I guess, because you were the antithesis of Kaizak. I don't know. Wow. So that's the end of this run, and um, yeah, yeah, we're we're uh, this was this was really cool to get you on online here for this run. Um, and actually, amazingly, um, so this is not going to be the only task even today that will include me, the tasser with the game's world record speedrunner. The next one, Crystalis, will also have will also have the world record speedrunner Oversmorm here. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, uh, it was a pleasure uh, commentating. Um, it was definitely fun to watch because it's just like so completely like out of the bounds of what you can do in a speedrun. <laughs> like, I think right, so. maybe if you like, Opt I mean, it, you can definitely get below. Right now, my runs like a thirty-six, twenty-two, or something like that. I you can. I think you can definitely get below thirty-five minutes if you optimized it more. Maybe with a new route, you could knock that down like a couple more minutes. But I don't think you could really go more than like low thirty minutes or high twenty or high twenty-minute range. <laughs>
yeah, yeah. This, is, this has been uh, an interesting game to task. So, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for showing me this game, Mike. And I've, I've uh... oh, no problem. Uh, I just got into this game one day because I have heard about kind of how infamous the Highlight series was. And the first time I played it, I was kind of enjoying it, but also, you know, thought it was really bad. And uh, I got stuck in the Cave of the Dead where it's really dark. If you play this game casually, it's really easy to get stuck or like just die a lot because you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but, um, you know, when I play the game through again, it's actually a really interesting game because like even though the game is very ugly, especially for a 16 bit game, it's very ambitious and they really put a lot of effort and love into it. It's just instead of going, should we do this like for the, you know, for like mechanics like the food and starvation and the and the rest and sleepiness mechanic they just went can we do this and they <laughs> could and they just threw it in and and i kind of respect the game for that you yeah. know being an older game and just trying to you know make like the most realistic and epic game possible you know for like a you know 1980s japanese pc which is what um how this game originated what, what was it what was the quote it was like it was the elder scrolls before there was elder scrolls or something oh like that. yeah it was morrowind before That's there was right. morrowind yeah. but it, it was on a top 30 uh, rpgs list from like 2004 and the guy has some very interesting opinions um for example there were no super nintendo rpgs on the list and this was number 27 and he he just talks up how great the game is and how its realism is awesome and like oh, I thought gamers love to challenge. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's super highlight, and uh, we should probably you know, I know we're running behind, so we should probably give the floor to some other you know tool assisted runs. Yeah, yeah. As much as I love this game, so all right. Uh, thank you for having me on, and uh, and uh, it was a it was a pleasure commentating. Thank you very much. That would thank you for joining us.